How do you measure the breadth of a star from billions of miles away? For decades, the Voyager probes did just that, charting the weakening pulse of our sun. After completing their planetary tour, both spacecraft continued their journey into the vast, uncharted territory of the outer heliosphere. The immense magnetic bubble inflated by the solar wind. This solar wind is a constant stream of charged particles, mostly protons and electrons, flowing outward from the sun at over a million miles per hour. A key instrument for this phase of the mission was the Low Energy Charged Particle Detector, or LECP. Dr. Stamatios Tom Krimigus, a principal investigator for the LECP instrument, played a crucial role in interpreting the data from this incredibly distant region. His instrument essentially tasted the particle environment, measuring the intensity and direction of these particles. As the probes flew further out, the LECP confirmed that the solar wind was slowing down and thinning out, just as theories predicted. Scientists knew that eventually, this solar wind must collide with the interstellar medium, the tenuous mix of gas, dust, and cosmic rays that fills the space between stars. This inevitable collision would form a boundary, the heliopause, marking the true edge of the sun's influence, and Voyager was our first shot at touching it. 